Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and I'm now answering a question, question number 11 from the October, November 2014, Cambridge Pure Mathematics 1. This is paper 1, the uh, variant 1, and the 9709 syllabus. And here we have a question, part A. Um, it tells us about the diagram shows the parts of the curves y equals 4x plus 1 to the power of a half which is this curve over here, and y equals a half x squared plus 1, which is this curve over there, intersecting the points p and q, um, 0, 1, and 2, 3. The angle between the tangents to the two curves at q is alpha. This angle there it says find alpha, giving your answer in degrees, correct to two, three significant figures. Okay, so what we need to do in order to find the angle between these two um, tangents is we need to find the equations of these two tangents or at least the gradient of these two tangents if we can find the gradient of these two tangents we can then find the angle between them because if you think about it if you have a line and it's the gradient of the line is basically the change of y over the change of x so the tan of the angle alpha here is going to be equal to the gradient of the of the line the change in y over the change in x so the gradient of um the tangents are is basically the same as the tan of the angle okay um the tan of uh, you know the the angle it makes with the x-axis the tan of the angle it makes with the x-axis is the gradient of the tangent Okay, so if we can find the gradient of the, each of these tangents, then we can find the angles between them, okay, by finding what those angles are for each one, and then the subtracting them. So, for example, if, if you have one, like, for example, this, if we consider this part here, if I continue this line along here, if I just make a horizontal line here, um, and I consider... The vertical line here supposing this is just say this is what you know this is one unit long then this would be the gradient of one of the lines so this would be the gradient for example of this first line it would be this divided by one okay and this would be the gradient of the second line you know that divided by one that would be the gradient so the difference between them okay then if I, therefore i can find the angle of i can find each of those angles when i when i subtract those two angles i got the angle between them so I find this if I find the angle between the the bigger gradient and the you know the horizontal and the angle between the lower gradient and the horizontal then the, the, if I subtract those two angles I've got the angle that I need so the key here is for us to find the gradient of the tangents okay if I find the gradient of the tangents I have then found then I can proceed so we need to find the gradient of the two tangents so that's what we're going to do so we're going to look at y equals 4x plus a half, and we're going to find the gradient function for that, 4x plus 1 to the power of a half, sorry. Okay, and we're going to find dy dx for that. That's the gradient function. That tells us the gradient at any point you want. So to find the gradient, we use a chain rule here. So you multiply by the power, so you have a half times 4x plus 1. We take one from the power, gives you negative a half, and then we multiply by the differential of what's inside the function, which is 4. This is the chain rule. So that gives us a half times 4, which is 2. So you have 2. We can put this over 4x plus 1 to the power of a half. 4x plus 1 to the power of a half. And we can even write that as 2 over 4x plus 1. All of that under square root. That is the same thing. That's easy for us to substitute values in. So we, we want to find the gradient at the point q at the point q the coordinates of q are 2 and 3 so at q 2 3 x equals 2 so the gradient of that line let me call it line 1 the tangent 1 is equal to 2 over the square root of 4 times 2 plus 1 so that's 2 over the square root of 9 which is 3 okay so the gradient of the first line is going to be uh, 2 over 3 all right and for the second line we have y equals a half x squared plus 1 so this is pretty easy dy dx is going to be multiplied by the power you're going to get 1 x to the power of 1 so it's just x so the gradient of line 2 at x equals 2 is going to be just 2 
So if we think about what we have here, if this is the point Q, if we think about one unit along the x-axis, then one of the lines goes up by two-thirds and the other one goes up by two. Make, make, let me make these lines solid so that's a bit clearer. Um, so one of the lines goes like this. Uh, so one of the lines goes like that. If you compare it to the x-axis, the other one goes up that much. So we can say that, you know, this is, let's call this alpha 1. And let's call this alpha 2. Make it a bit clearer. This is alpha 1. And this is alpha 2. All of that. Okay, so the difference between them is what I'm looking for. Okay, so if we think about alpha 1, we can say the tan of alpha 1, the smaller one here, is going to be the opposite over the adjacent. Now, we call this 1, so the opposite is going to be the gradient of line 1, and the gradient of line 1 was 2 thirds. Okay, so that's going to be like 2 thirds over 1, which is 2 thirds. Okay, and the tangent of the big angle alpha 2, which is all of this, well, from there to there is 2 units, so it's 2 over 1. Okay, so we can find each of these angles. So we can say that the, the alpha that we're looking for is going to be the inverse tan of the big angle minus the inverse tan of the smaller angle. Okay, so that will give us our answer. So if we do inverse tan and we have to be in degrees here, the question told us to give the answer in degrees to 3SF. Okay, so we have to be in degrees. So we're going to put, uh, make sure we're degree mode. Yes, shift tan inverse tan of 2 minus inverse tan of 2 over 3 and that gives us 29.7448 29.7448 degrees which is to 3SF 29.7 degrees so that's the value of alpha angle between those two tangents okay so that's something that we, um, it's pretty simple, not too difficult. So to find the angle between two lines, we know the, if we know the gradient of those two lines, we just use, to find the tangent of one of the gradients and take away from that the tangent of the other gradient. Why? Because the tangent um, of the gradient is basically, um, so inverse tan of one gradient minus inverse tan of the other. Why? Because the tangent of an angle um, the tangent of the, the angle is the same as the gradient, okay, the gradient of the curve. The tangent that the angle makes with the horizontal, um, that the line makes with the horizontal, so the tangent of the, the tangent of the angle that this line makes with the horizontal is equal to, okay, the gradient of the line, okay, change in y over the change in x, opposite over adjacent, as we know. All right, so that's part one done. Now for part two, it says find by integration the area of the shaded region so what i'm going to do is i'm going to save question number one as a separate video and that will i'll, I'll save it under uh, the topic of differentiation okay and equations of tangents and so on and i'll save the next part of the video under a separate um playlist for integration because this is to do with you know more to do differentiating that for integration so it splits up in my playlist according to the topic so if you would like to see other videos from this paper, including the next part of this question, you can go to the playlist over here. That will take you to the playlist for this particular paper. And if you would like to uh, look at other questions from the topic of differentiation from P1, you can go to this playlist over here. Um, if you would like to watch a video that tells you how to use my channel to find what you're looking for in terms of a-level stuff from Cambridge or at Excel or IG stuff, you can find where to find the, my special index pages from the video over here. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.